Hey everyone, and welcome back to Love Lessons Lounge. For all my new boos, welcome, so glad you could make it. Get ready to sip on some seriously good advice on love, relationships, and everything in between. We've got the tea, the shade, and all the juicy insights to help you navigate this crazy little thing called love. So let's be real, finding the one can sometimes feel like trying to parallel park a boat. It's a whole thing. You're out there, putting yourself out there, swiping left and right, and yet you still find yourself single and wondering, what gives? Well, my friend, sometimes it's not about bad luck or a lack of options, but about some sneaky little habits that might be holding you back. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. Get ready to break free from those single and dare I say single habits, because love is out there and we're coming for it. One, being too selective. Let's dive into the world of pickiness. Having standards? Absolutely. Knowing what you want and deserve in a partner is crucial. But there's a fine line between having standards and being completely closed off. It's like going to a buffet and only eating fries. Sure, fries are great, but there's a whole world of flavors out there. You could be missing out on some incredible dishes. The same principle applies to dating. If you're fixated on finding someone who meets every single criterion on your list, you might overlook someone truly special. Remember, no one is perfect, not even Ryan Gosling, and I've checked. Be open to the idea that your perfect match might not look like you imagined. Often, the best relationships come from unexpected connections, so loosen up and explore. You never know what you might find. Two, comfortable in your comfort zone? Listen up, my introverted lovelies. I get it. Putting yourself out there can feel about as appealing as a root canal. But here's the thing. You can't find your soulmate from the comfort of your couch, no matter how comfy it is. I know, Netflix and chill is a vibe. But trust me, meeting new people is like finding hidden treasure. You gotta dig a little, or, you know, swipe a little, to strike gold. Join a club, take a class, hit up that social event you've been avoiding. The more you put yourself out there, the higher your chances of bumping into someone who makes your heart skip a beat. Think of it like this. Every interaction is a chance to meet someone amazing. Or at the very least, a funny story to tell on your next Zoom call. And who doesn't love a good Zoom story? 3. Fear of rejection. Let's dive into the dreaded R word, rejection. Ugh, even mentioning it makes me want to hide under a weighted blanket. But here's the reality. Rejection is a part of life, especially in the dating scene. It happens to everyone, even to me. But guess what? It doesn't mean you're not good enough or deserving of love. It just means that particular person wasn't the right match for you. And that's perfectly fine. Think of it like trying on shoes. Sometimes you find a pair that looks great but hurts your feet. Do you force yourself to wear them and endure the pain? Absolutely not. You put them back and keep searching for the perfect fit. Dating works the same way. Don't let the fear of rejection stop you from putting yourself out there. Four, having self-doubt. Let's be real, confidence is hot. It's like wearing a suit of armor that says, I'm awesome, I know it, and you should too. And the best part, confidence is something you can cultivate and rock no matter what you're wearing. It's about embracing your quirks, owning your strengths, and loving yourself, flaws and all. When you believe in yourself, it shows. And trust me, people notice. So ditch the self-doubt and pump up that self-love. Practice positive self-talk, celebrate your accomplishments, and surround yourself with people who lift you up. Remember, you are unique, you are special, and you deserve all the love and happiness in the world. Now go out there and show the world what you're made of. Five, holding on to past relationships. We've all been there, you meet someone new and your brain decides to play a highlight reel of your ex, making this new person seem lacking, but hold up. Comparing everyone to an ex is like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's just not going to work. Your ex is your ex for a reason, and it's time to let go of that past relationship and focus on the present. Every person you meet is a blank slate, a new adventure waiting to be written. So ditch the comparisons and allow yourself to see the unique qualities and potential in each new person you encounter. You never know, this new person might just surprise you and sweep you off your feet in a non-creepy, totally awesome way, of course. Six, 
not making the time to find love and make new connections. Listen, I get it, life gets busy. You've got your hustle, your side hustle, your side hustle's hustle. But here's the thing. If you're serious about finding love, you've got to make time for it. It's like trying to bake a cake without making time to actually bake it. You might end up with a whole lot of nothing. So clear your schedule, prioritize dating, and make it a non-negotiable part of your life. Think of it like a meeting with your soulmate. You wouldn't reschedule that, would you? Seven, not being positive and having an open mind. Let's be real, dating can be tough and it's easy to fall into the trap of negativity. But here's the thing, a negative attitude is like a rain cloud following you around, raining on your parade and scaring away potential love interests. So ditch the dating dread and embrace a positive outlook. Approach dating with an open mind, a sense of humor, and the belief that something amazing is just around the corner. Remember, your thoughts and beliefs shape your reality. So choose to focus on the good, the fun, and the exciting possibilities that dating can bring. Eight, having unrealistic expectations. Let's dive into the world of expectations. Standards are crucial, but unrealistic expectations? That's like searching for a unicorn on a roller coaster. It's just not realistic. And believe me, I've tried. Keep in mind, nobody's perfect. Relationships require effort, compromise, and a lot of understanding. So let go of those fairy tale dreams and appreciate the beauty and imperfection. Seek someone who brings you joy, challenges you to grow, and loves you for who you are, flaws included. Love isn't about finding a flawless person, but about creating a beautiful, messy, and perfectly imperfect relationship with someone who truly understands you. So there you have it, my lovelies. Eight behaviors that might be keeping you single. Finding love is a journey, not a destination. It's about learning, growing, and becoming the best version of yourself. What are your thoughts on these behaviors? Have you ever been guilty of any of them? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get this conversation started. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more love lessons and relationship advice. Until next time, stay true to yourself and never stop believing in the power of love.